Three former pupils have been threatened with legal action over comments they made about their school on the social media site Twitter. They've each been landed with a bill of nearly £700 to cover the school's legal costs after solicitors were brought in. Meanwhile, one current pupil has been suspended as part of the row. Steve Nibbs has the details. Twitter has over 300 million users. It works by people publishing their thoughts in 140 characters or less. But three former students and one still at the crypt went too far. They posted what have been described as highly offensive and libelous comments about members of staff. Following advice from the police and their lawyers, the school threatened the users with legal action and asked for costs of £680 each. The pupil still at the school was also suspended for a day. The head teacher told me his actions were proportionate. The letter we sent them was a warning letter. It said, remove the tweets, refrain from posting tweets such as that again, otherwise we will take legal action. But unfortunately, when you involve lawyers, that, that brings costs. There's understandably been a lot of reaction to the story on Twitter. One user said, it's a bit extreme if you ask me, just reliving our memories and being persecuted. But communications experts say writing comments on the internet are subject to the same laws as journalists. Those of us who've worked in the media who have trained have been given training in legal issues, in the sort of sensitivities around writing stories. And of course, not everybody has that. Suddenly you've got all these thousands of citizen journalists who can write whatever they want or think they can. And then, of course, there are repercussions. I've spoken to the three former pupils at the centre of this story and they tell me they feel hard done by by the school, saying a simple phone call is all it would have taken to get them to delete the comments. They also say they won't be paying the legal costs because, again, they can't see how the school can justify that when an informal approach was all it would have taken. But having said that, they do go on to say, now that we have seen what consequences have arisen from our comments, we do realise what we put was a mistake in hindsight. We have apologised to the school. Steve Nibbs, BBC Midlands Today. Well, still ahead.